Hey guys, welcome to a new video in where I will show you the new custom tank editor. Uh, there. Uh, oh, dang. Oh, it's a shiny tank! Guys! A shiny tank! Oh, <laughs> look at it! Look at it! Ah! A shiny tank! What? It's a shiny green tank! <laughs> oh my god, that ch the chance of seeing a shiny tank is so small. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So here we are in the tank editor. Uh, I mean in the map editor. Let's just start off with placing a blue tank and making a small wall. There we go. Here we have the new custom tank map editor menu and everything is gone. All the options are gone. All the settings are gone. And well, sorry guys, you can no longer make custom tanks anymore. Uh, yeah, that feature has now been uh, removed. So that's what I wanted to talk about this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in... <laughs> Just kidding. Um, add button. Here we go. Add custom tank editor. You still have all the same options as before, as you can see, but it's just... It looks better. In a better menu with sliders and stuff. And it's just better. Okay? It's just... It's better. And there are also a couple of new things. Um, first of all, let's just make a blue tank, which can move for a bit. Move a bit around. He can look around and he shoots electric bullets with a kind of okay accuracy. Shoots not that fast um, to the max. And here we have the first new slider. Bullets per shot. And here it already says what it does. It's a shotgun. So each shot the tank shoots, it shoots one bullet. If we put it at four, for example, it shoots four, four, four. <laughs> It, sh it shoots fo four bullets. Damn, English is... Uh, let me demonstrate it right now. Oh, yeah, and here you can see your tank you just made. And as you ma make more tanks, uh, this whole bar will be filled with all of your custom tanks. Just like in this menu. So, let's place it down. And demonstrate what it looks like if it shoots four... Four... Ah! It's just four... Four... Four bullet, um, and you can also edit the tank again by pressing this button. So here we can edit the tank again. Um, this is all same from before. Same. Okay, the health. Um, I changed how the armor plates work. Uh, health and armor plates are now two separate things. Uh, you can put health up to a hundred. You won't see any armor plates. If you take has armor, this decides how many armor the tank has. Uh, which you can put it at, let's do 15. And if we put health at 1, our tank will have um, 3 armor plates, but actually 15 armor points. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it works now. So that I guess it's kind of obvious. I should have done it like this before, but that's the whole thing of developing. You always improve yourself. Okay, and the next thing is show health bar. Which is kind of self-explanatory, I guess. It just... Shows the health bar when you fight the tank. Let's go do that right now. As you can see. Oh! And it, ah, these electric bullets. Luckily, they, they don't kill me, but. Can you, can you stop? Can you stop it? Can you stop, 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 stop it. Stop it! Stop it! The health bar was already there before when a custom tank would have had 10 health or more, a health bar would show up. But now you have the option to toggle it. Oh, you can also toggle health bar um, when the tank has only one HP. As you can see here. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's uh, the health. Now, into the extras menu. This is still the same. You can still do the music. Uh, decide which music plays when your custom tank is present. The scale of your tank, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a new one. Can teleport. Um, well... Again, pretty obvious, I guess. It just, you know, it can teleport. It's a tank can teleport now. Yeah, are you going to teleport or not? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, that's a new teleport feature. You can make your custom tanks teleport around the map. Alrighty. And here we have the last thing. By giving our tank a name, you can now use these two buttons at the top. I think this is one of the best new features of the custom tank editor, um, which is saving your tank uh, stats, the properties, or loading stats from another save file. Uh, you guys can also share your uh, custom tank save files with each other, so you can uh, load in the custom tank stats of someone else. Okay, so here we have um, the teleporting tank. We can save the tank. 
Uh, I already uh, made a teleporting tank. Uh, apparently, already exists. Replace, yes. Boop. Foul teleporting tank has been saved. All right. So now, imagine you are going to make a second custom tank, but you want to make a slight variation of the teleporting tank from the one before. You go to load tank, and in here you have our teleporting tank, which you can select, and then load custom tank. Yes. Boop. And all the stats from the other tank will be loaded in. How easy is that? I know, pretty nice. I'm a good developer, what can I say? I'm one of the good guys. Uh, and now you can do like, oh, uh, it's a bit faster and it's a bit more blue. Uh, and then you have your, uh, well, your second custom tank you can place around now. There we go. Now we have two variations of the same tank, which uh, are in a team and probably are going to kill me. And it's fast as fuck. So uh, that was it um, for the new custom tank editor. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I will probably add one more feature. I was thinking maybe missiles, like the rocket defender uh, missiles, so that the tank will get a little missile thingy on the back and it can shoot miss. But for now, in the upcoming updates, it will probably be just this. And this is how you will create your tanks. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Ring the bell, ring the bell, baby. Ring the bell.